It's October 2023 and yesterday I turned on my 4K stick and found a message telling me about one of the most useful features ever made for the Fire Sticks. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, yesterday I turned on my 4K Fire Stick. This is an older Fire Stick running Fire OS 6 and got this message up on the screen saying, what's new on Fire TV? Auto offload feature to optimize device storage comes to Fire TV. Here's how it works. If your device is low on storage space, auto offload will partially remove some apps that haven't been used on the device in the last 60 days without deleting your login credentials. When you want to use an offloaded app later, the app will be reinstalled for you and your login credentials for that app will be restored just as if it had never been removed. This setting is automatically enabled. To disable it, go to settings, then my Fire TV, about, st then storage, auto offload and on off. So first of all, let's have a look, see how you turn it on and off. Let's just follow those instructions. So we go across to settings and then down to my Fire TV, go into about, go into storage and there you go automatic offload as you can see is switched on. So I just highlight that middle button to turn it off. So let's go back to the app screen and let's just have a look at the state of my apps. So I'm just gonna go across to apps over here. And there we are, as you can see on some of the apps, there's a little cloud in the top right hand corner of the app icon. If I just go across there to VLC, as you can see, there's a cloud with an arrow pointing downwards. Now that means that the app, that particular app has been offloaded. The Fire Stick has recognized I've not used that app in the last 60 days and therefore has removed it from the Fire Stick. Now, I've noticed I've got a few side loaded apps on the stick that I definitely haven't used. Things like mouse toggle and remote ADB. I've definitely not used those in the last 60 days. I haven't used those for, for ages to be quite honest with you, but those have not been offloaded. So side loaded apps do not get offloaded. And why would they? They've been side loaded on and the Fire Stick wouldn't know where to get them again. It's only apps that have been downloaded from the Amazon App Store which get offloaded. I'm just gonna go into my apps list. So let's just go across to settings and then down to applications. And there's another place for automatic offload here, just in applications. You can turn it on and off from there too. But if I go into manage installed applications, and as you can see, if I go down the list here, there you go. Some of the apps have lost their icons and again, been replaced with a cloud and a downward point in arrow. And it says here, press the play pause button to uninstall. It says this app has been offloaded. You can bring back offloaded apps at any time via the app store. The app data is saved on your Fire TV make, to make using these apps again as easy as possible. So if I just go into this app here, so the only option we've got here is to uninstall. But if I go into one of the other apps, like say for instance, the BBC iPlayer, and just go in there, there you go. We've actually got the option there to offload the app. And if I wanna offload the BBC iPlayer, I can just press the middle button on the remote control and there you go. It says offloading this app will free up 31.08 megabytes of storage. The app will be offloaded from all non-child profiles. Are you sure you want to continue? Well, let, yeah, let's confirm that. So there you go. It says it's offloading the application. And there you go. As you can see, BBC iPlayer has now been offloaded. It's gone back to the cloud. It's not installed on the Fire Stick, but its data still remains on there. So if I want to reinstall it or put it back on there, then it will reinstall. As long as I don't press the play pause button to completely uninstall it, then I'm okay. I can then go back to the main menu and perhaps go into BBC iPlayer. Let's just do that. 
Well, let's just double check first of all to make sure that it has been offloaded. So let's just go across to my applications. And there we go, we can see top left hand corner that yes, the BBC iPlayer has been offloaded as denoted by the cloud with the downward arrow in the top right hand corner. So let's just go into BBC iPlayer and let's see what happens. So I'm going into it from the main menu there. As you can see, the cloud and the downward arrow isn't there on that menu, but let's just try it anyway. And when I go into it, it takes you to the download page. Now I haven't had to push anything apart from that one button to go into the app. And as you can see, it was downloading and it's now installing. And it automatically, again, without pushing any kind of button on here, it's gone straight into the BBC iPlayer. And yep, it's remembered my login details as it says. There we go, all logged in, haven't needed to reset it back up again. So let's just come out and I'm gonna go back into my apps over here. And let's just try another one. Say for instance, uh, Downloader, let's go into that. Downloader, as you can see, it's got the cloud in the top right hand corner there. So let's just go into that. And once again, it goes to the store, automatically starts downloading and then automatically starts installing. And then again, automatically just boots it up. And I haven't had to reset it back up again. I haven't had the quick start guide come up. I haven't had to accept any permissions like you would do if you're reinstalling or installing Downloader from scratch. And hopefully the offload has saved myself a bit of space. Now, something many people are gonna ask me is, can you offload Amazon apps? Let's just have a look. So I'm gonna go down to Manage Installed Applications and let's go to Amazon Kids. Nope, no offload in that. Go down to Amazon Photos. No, nope, no offload in that. Go down to Amazon App Store. No, nope, no offload in that. So no, you cannot offload Amazon apps. Amazon do actually subsidize the Fire Stick so they want you to have these apps installed on there. But as I say, other apps on here that you've downloaded from the Amazon App Store, yep, you can actually offload. Let's just go to channel four, say for instance, middle button, and there you go. There's the offload button there. I can offload that, confirm, and there you go. It's offloaded, and hopefully I've saved myself a bit of space. Something I did notice whilst recording this video, I did offload the channel four app and uh, re-put it back on again. And when I go into it, it doesn't work, I get, well, this is embarrassing. Something's not working. Please try again in a few minutes. Well, I've been trying for a while, but no, it's still not working. Let's just try again. No, I've got that message again. So yeah, there are obviously some teething problems with this particular offload feature with certain apps. The BBC iPlayer reloaded no problem, so did Downloader. So there must be some kind of incompatibility with certain apps. So please, if you do offload, take this as a warning. It may not automatically reinstall all apps. So let's just have a look, see how much space I've got on the Fire Stick at the moment. If we're going to applications and then manage installed applications, well, I've got a gigabyte free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna offload a couple of apps and just see what happens to the space. So I'm gonna pause this video while I'm offloading a few apps and we'll come back to it in a little while. Incidentally, just while I'm going through the list, another thing people are gonna ask is, can I offload Freevee? No, you can't. And can I offload Prime Video? No, afraid not. And what about Silk Browser? Well, you can't actually offload that, but you can uninstall it. So I've gone through the list of apps and I've offloaded all the apps that I don't use. So let's just see what that's made to the uh, difference in the free space. Well, it's got me up to 1.44 gigabytes. So that's fair play. That has actually done something. I was expecting a bit more space on there. So I would say, you know, if you are going to use the offload feature, if there are some apps on the stick that are not Amazon based apps, free V apps, then try to uninstall them. If you don't use them, make a note of your username and password 
and uh, uninstall them and then reinstall them again as and when needed. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's freed up about 0.44 gigabytes on my stick. That's going through all the apps that I don't use. So whilst this feature isn't as good as what I was expecting, it obviously still does clear up space. So it's going to be helpful to you at some point, especially if you've got next to no storage space left on your Fire Stick or Cube. Well, there you go. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. If you can't do that, but you are in the market for a new Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, or even looking at subscribing to a VPN, then please have a look in the description down below. We've got some great deals for you. Donating to this channel or buying or subscribing through those links down below really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.